All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some good news for the low income that was recently announced and offering clarification and explanation as to this new information, as well as what it means for you. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. All right, now this is actually some pretty good information for the low income and it's going to help millions upon millions of people. And again, I want to bring it to your attention because to be real, we were not expecting this to be announced, but they announced it and it's actually pretty good. However, to be 100% fair, it's not like the best thing in the world, but it is actually pretty good and it will help a lot of people. So I want to bring you all the details. And again, I've been getting a number of questions about this over the last several days here. I want to offer clarification as to exactly what's going on here and what you need to know over the coming weeks and the next couple months as well. So with that being said, let's jump into it and talk through all the details. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you please make sure to subscribe? to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day, doing the research, watching the headlines, advocating on your behalf, doing anything I possibly can to help you navigate this time. It's rough out there financially. I think we can all probably agree with that, right? The last few years have been really bad for the low income and fixed income. And going forward, unfortunately, it's probably going to remain this way for probably several more months. And probably the next couple of years as well. Either way, I want to keep you posted any way that I possibly can be so you can take advantage of the programs and anything talking uh, going on right now as far as talking about raises to benefits or piece of legislation, things like that, adjustments to your benefit. Of course, I want to bring that to your attention as well. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below and feel free to share the video with your friends on my social media with the share button down below as well. All right, thank you so much. Let's talk through the details. All right, here's what it comes down to. In fact, to be fair, about a week, maybe a little over a week ago, I I was out in a separate live stream talking about this and that just kind of stirred the pot on this whole thing and it actually brought a lot of questions and confusion about this but again I want to clarify for you here in this video but it all comes down to the ACP affordability connectivity program remember this whole thing it's been going on for years and they've been offering a heavily discounted or even free internet for about 23 million households well remember I was out about a month ago well actually to be fair it wasn't quite a month ago it was about three weeks or so ago I was out in a separate video and said, hey, there's four weeks left of this thing and they're going to be completely out of money. However, things are changing a little bit, okay? Now, we anticipated this program to be completely out of money by the end of this month, the end of April, to be completely out of money and done, as in basically everybody loses their benefit. However, get this, they came out with an announcement um, about a week ago, and they came out and they said, hey, we have just enough money to extend this thing out through the, the month of uh, May as well, okay? But there's gonna be some changes. It does not mean everything's gonna stay as normal, and they're just gonna push this thing out through the end of the month of May, right? However, let me explain exactly exactly the details about this, okay? So remember, uh, for the last couple of years here, they've been paying, as a result of this ACP program, they've been paying up to $30 of your internet Again, up to $30. Less than that, yes, for sure, but up to $30 of an internet for you know people across the country or on tribal lands, they were paying up to $75 per month of internet uh, for these individuals as well, okay? However, now they're changing it. They said, hey, <laughs> we can scrape uh, a little bit of money together here and we can actually extend this out through the end of May, but there's some changes. Here's what we need to know about it. Uh, going forward in the month of May, they'll only have enough money to get this, pay $14 a month for individuals that were previously getting up to $30 per month. So it's less than 50% of what they were offering before, but it's not, uh, by the way, this is only the month of May. It's not like June, July, August. No, it's just the month of May that they have enough money to do this. Okay. I guess something is better than nothing. I right? I guess that's the, how the saying goes, but anyway, so the once, uh, you know, the $30 that they were offering is now dropping down in the month of May to $14. Okay. So again, better than nothing. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's certainly could be way worse. Okay. It could be zero, okay? It's, it's at least $14, okay? Um, but anyway, now on tribal lands, those individuals were getting assistance of up to $75, and now that's dropping to $35, okay? So there you go, okay? <laughs> this is the new information, and they announced this. Again, I had that live stream out about a week ago. It was a little over a week ago where I was talking about all the details about it, and um, gave the information there. And again, I got a lot of questions coming in about this. Like, do I need to reapply? What about my benefits? Stuff like this. Okay. No, you don't need to reapply. In fact, they're not even accepting applications. In fact, applications stopped way back on February 17th 
applications stopped okay so they're not even taking new applications for this and um they're just kind of dry just using all the money up in this thing okay so that's what it comes down to remember a few weeks ago the end of what march and early april they were coming together saying we only have enough money to get this thing funded through the end of april now they say hey we have a little bit more money here and um we can keep this going through may now I'm gonna say this much as well. I do not anticipate this to go through June, okay? I'm just being real with you right now, okay? The reason that I say that is they're dropping these uh, these allowances by 50%, okay? Basically more than 50% is how much they're dropping these monthly allowances per household, okay? I don't anticipate they're gonna have enough money to do this through June. If they do, I mean, what are they gonna have? $7 at that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are they gonna cut it in half again? Oh, hey everybody, now we have $7 and um, <laughs> you know, like $15 or something like that. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but you just never know. Maybe they'll be able to come together and scrape together a little bit more money for June. I wouldn't count on that though, okay? just. Just, just saying, okay, just being real with you. Um, but anyway, this is a good news. It's kind of like one of these good news, bad news types of things. It's like good news, like, wow, we get one more month. They're dropping the, the allowance by, you know, a little over 50% from $30 to $14 and from $75 on tribal lands down to $35 for the month of May, only May. Um, and that's about it, okay? So anyway... That's why I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I said it's, it's good news, but at the end of the day, it's not like the best news. It could be way worse. And remember, the contrary is the worst part could be, it could be zero. Just remember that as well, okay? A few weeks ago, we were anticipating zero. So I guess take your pick here, right? <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want zero or do you want 14? So again, I'm just saying, $14 is certainly not going to be life-changing for anybody. I totally get that. But at the end of the day, if it's $14 they can pay on your behalf that you don't need to pay, hey, we'll take it, right? We'll gladly take it. So anyway, this is the ACP, again, the Affordability Connectivity Program, the, um, the free internet or heavily discounted internet. It's not so much heavily discounted anymore, but uh, we'll see what happens. Which, by the way, quick side note as well, there are some service providers. Uh, by the way, you might see this out there, ISP, Internet Service Provider is what that stands for. There are some ISPs out there um, who are offering still $30. So what it sounds like, according to my research on this, which, by the way, I don't want to throw out any uh, names of companies out there right now just because... <sighs> I don't know. I've read this in a couple of different sources. I don't know if it's credible or not. I'm just simply saying, but there are a couple that have come out and said, we're still going to offer the $30. So what it sounds like to me is they're going to eat the other $16 of fees on that. Fine. I don't care, right? It's, if it's their expense and they're the ones coming forward and saying, hey, we'll eat the extra difference here. Okay, go ahead and eat up, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's your problem, okay? If they want to do that, then by all means, let them do it. So some of these people have come forward and said, we will continue to, to offer the $30. So I don't know. Sounds pretty cool to me, right? But what it really what it makes me wonder is going forward after this, when this whole ACP actually dries up and they're totally done and it totally ends, it does make me wonder, do some of these providers still offer maybe a 15 or $20 discount and really, really try to bring people in that way or keep people on their services and just say, hey, we'll offer you say a $10 per month uh, internet and we'll eat the other 20? I don't know. I'm just simply saying, just speculating, just had to talk through and think through this, but uh, that's kind of what they're talking about. So anyway, I'm going to keep you posted as you get more information on this, but this is what I know as of right now. And um, yeah, check out the live stream from about, I don't know, a week ago, a little over a week ago. Uh, check out that one as well and um, have a lot more information in that as well. But yeah, let me know if you have any further questions on this. And again, this is the ACP, Affordability Connectivity Program. After May, again, I would not count on any money, any assistance after May. But I'm just saying, that's just my opinion about it. Who knows? Maybe lawmakers come forward and pass that $7 billion package that's out there that they have to extend this out through the rest of the year. I wouldn't count on that. I do not think it's going to happen, but you just never know. Sometimes they do surprise. <laughs> sometimes they surprise us in a good way, right? They don't surprise us every other day, but maybe sometimes they do surprise us in a good way. Anyway, hope this helps you. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Totally free to do so. Share the video again with your friends on your social media. There's a share button right down below. This would be helpful to them so they know this information. Otherwise, go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel in the video library or down below in the description or the top of the comment section. I have some uh, videos there that I've hand selected for you. Otherwise, right here on your screen, you should see some videos popping up as well. Check out one of those videos, select that video now, and uh, have a nice day. Take care, and I'll catch you again later in the next